It's a long, long run to the start here, but the flag is up for the 2021 running of the Labrooks Trophy. Here's Ian Bartlett. So 21 fences they'll have to jump. £142,000 is the first prize. They're moving pretty quickly towards the start. And they're off. They race away then for the Labrooks Trophy. They have 21 fences to jump, and as they head down towards the first of those, last year's winner, Cloth Cap with Copperhead, one more flurry, Fiddler on the roof, and remastered were the leaders. An error at the rear of the field there by fullback as they quickly come to number two, which is the first of the open ditches. And Copperhead maybe just about in front there. Eclat de rear, a tiny error from him back in the field. It'll be two thirds of the way down them as they move then on towards number three. Cloth cap and Copperhead and remastered on the left for the leading trio. One more flurry, Cloudy Glen Enrillo in red and green colours in a prominent position. The grey Animix is wide on the course, Fiddler on the roof with the dark jacket behind these as they clear number four, where Kitty's Light was the back marker. Brave Eagle in red, De Machine, also Fortescue, Danny Whizbang, Brahma Bull, and uh, on the ropes are towards the rear of the field as they've now taken all of the fences in the back straight for the first time. That was number five. So it's Cloth Cap and Tom Scudamore who lead. From Copperhead, John Joe Neal Jr. in the purple and yellow jacket running in second place as they approach the cross fence. There'd be two lengths behind those two, a yellow sleeve jacket for Fergus Gillard on Remastered. Uh, Cloudy Glen, Charlie Deutsch, a green cap up round the outside of runners. Enrillo is in a prominent position as well with Fiddler on the roof and one more flurry. Uh, fullback Jamie Moore has taken him wide on the course in dark blue and pink colours to get a better sight of his fences. He was a little close to a few of the early ones. Uh, on the ropes, Canelo are towards the back of the field as they turn into the home straight for the first time. Kit is light is with those and there's about three length gap to Brave Eagle who is the back marker as they run now into the straight for the first time and come on towards fence number seven. Uh, with the two Trevor Hemmings runners, just about first and second. Cloth cap uh, with nearest to us, Cloudy Glen. They were the leading pair over that as they come to an open ditch. In behind those is Copperhead and remastered Enrillo and Fiddler on the roof. Eclat's a rear, it's a light blue jacket with white sleeves. It'll be about sixth or seventh with the grey Animix alongside as they took that. The Hollow Ginge, fourth last year, blue jacket over to the running rail. De Machine is in company with him and then comes Fortescue and Kid is Light and Danny Whizbang. And then to the extreme left is Fullback, spot his white face. He's ahead of Brahma Bull as they approach now fence number 10. Mr. Malarkey in purple colours, nose banded is with those towards the rear of the field as they jump this. Uh, Danny Whizbang, an error there, gets a reminder on touching down. Brave Eagle in red is still the back marker, but Cloth Cap continues to lead. Cloudy Glen, the green cap nearest to us, and with those in purple and yellow is Copperhead as they jump the 11th, which is the water jump for the only time. So one circuit remaining now in the Labrooks Trophy. Dark colours for Fiddler on the roof is just in behind Remastered, so they're fifth and fourth. Uh, red and green of Enrillo, and then comes Eclat to rear. He's followed by the Hollow Ginge, and then comes Animix, who's the grey as they turn into the back straight in yellow and red de machine. One more flurry in whites and green has lost ground. Potterman is alongside this, and then comes full back up on the outside of the track as they take the first of the fences in the back straight. Uh, Fortescue and Canelo behind these, then on the ropes, Brahma Bull and Danny Wisbang are both starting to struggle a little bit as they come to the third one of the open ditches, and Cloth Cap continues to be out in front by a couple of lengths. Mr. Malarkey has now dropped to be the back marker as they come to the middle fence in the back straight. So Tom Scudamore on Cloth Cap continues to be out in front, Cloudy Glen belted that, and Rillo's down, uh, it's in Rillo, the the faller there, number 12, he's quickly up on his feet as the others now make their way to another 
plane fence on the far side. Harry Cobden is up as well. Copperhead and error there, really belted that in the purple and yellow colours. So one more fence in the back straight. A fine run here from Cloth Cap, still leading. Cloudy Glen, same jacket, green cap, two lengths behind in second. Remastered is in third. The hollow ginge against the rails is getting closer. On the extreme left, the splash of white on the face is fullback. With him, the grey Animix. A uh, fiddle on the roof in yellow and red, do machine making good progress. And then comes Porterman. On the ropes is behind these. Brahma Bull is next as they turn to the cross fence. And then comes a uh, tiring copper head. Brave Eagle Fortescue are behind him. And the others are well out of contention, headed by Canelo. And Kit is light at the cross fence. Five from the finish. Cloth Cap continues to lead. Got over that by a length and a half. In second place is Cloudy Glen, with the yellow sleeves is remastered on the heels of these now. Two lengths away then, in fourth position, is the Hollow Ginge. Fiddler on the roof's the length behind this. De Machine, uh, Anna Mix behind these on the ropes, and then Potter Man, and then a tiring fullback as they move then down with four fences to go. And now it's Cloudy Glen and Charlie Deutsch who lead. Remastered goes! Remastered when challenging as a faller there, and he's left Cloudy Glen clear as they race down to the final open ditch. From in second place comes Fiddler on the roof. Uh, with him is Cloth Cat, then De Machine. Behind these is the Hollow Ginge. There are two fences to go now. On the ropes is staying on from the back of the field. Second last fence coming in towards it now, and it's Cloudy Glen with a two-length lead. Second position, Fiddler on the roof trying to challenge. From the back of the field, on the ropes has moved into third place. But up front, with a green cap, Cloudy Glen, the dark jacket, Fiddler on the roof are virtually together as they touch down over the last and now Cloudy Glenn and Charlie Deutsch head up the running in the Labrook Trophy with a two to three length lead. Fiddler on the roof is in second place and he's closing now inside the closing stages. Cloudy Glenn continues to be in front with Charlie Deutsch and will win it for Venetia Williams. Second position home was Fiddler on the roof in the third position laid on his Brahma ball then came on the ropes and behind this dumb machine and then cloth cap and Fortescue, they're followed in by fullback in the hollow ginge. 1998 Teton Mill storm to victory in what was then the Hennessy Gold Cup for Venetia Williams. All these years later, 23 years later, Cloudy Glen off a featherweight takes the same race, now called the Ladbrokes Trophy, to give Charlie Deutsch one of his most important days in the saddle. Beats Fiddler on the roof, Brendan Powell Jr. for Colin Tizard going down bravely by half a length and the pair of them miles clear. Remastered surely would have taken a big hand in this but for taking a heavy 4-4 from home. But Cloudy Glen, you can hear a pin drop at Newbury. 33-1 to 1 he wins. But a famous try for Charlie Deutsch. Venetia Williams has had great faith in his abilities down the years and he's repaid it here with a great ride. The horse made one really significant error on the way round. And perhaps the most significant aspect of this victory, the colours in which this horse runs, those of the late Trevor Hemmings, whose memorial service was held just three days ago. And this horse, a, a great tribute to what he put into the sport of national hunt racing, the fourth horse, the fourth individual horse, to win this historic horse race, Jonathan Neeson. Well, 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 after that mistake, I mean, you thought, well, he's, he's got to drop out. I mean, he's... He's been in the ideal place. As we know, you you can't really come from a long way back here. And you know, he's been in the first two or three throughout, but when he made the mistake, you thought, well, you can't do that and still win a race like this. And he has. And the first two have ended up miles clear, half a length, 28 lengths between the second and third. I mean, they're miles clear. Obviously remastered. He was also been in the right place for much of the race might well have won it but we don't know and this is a horse not only running in the silks of the late Trevor Hemmings but also bred by his Gled Hill House stud by a stallion that he owned as well in cloudings he's already produced many clouds for him and vintage clouds uh, and cloudy lane so it's a, another a son of this uh, stallion who served him so well always to the fore tracking his winner of the race last year cloth cap 
who has got into a lovely rhythm again. Yeah, he has. He has. He made a really bow. That's where we lost him, Rillo, who was, again, tracking, going well. Going I don't well. know what happened. But whether he got put off by Cloudy Clayton's blunder. Go on. And I, just, at Gladaria, the distress signals are already yep. just being sent out here. The, the pale blue white seems yep. further back, just never really on an even key. Well, I thought she, she had him in a decent spot for the, the first half of the race, but by now, he's beaten. He's about to drop right out. He's clambered over that and. Well, he's, he's not performed. And on the ropes, the, the blue cap, he wasn't really going that well early. He kind of crept into it, and he's run yeah. quite well in the end, but it just never looked as though it was going to happen. No, it didn't. It's, uh, I mean, one or two of them threatened to get into it, but in the end, the first two have just come miles clear. And absolutely no doubt about the hard luck story of this race. Yeah. He surely would have been involved, remastered, um, he's up on his feet okay in the native river silks, the red cap. He has run an absolute stormer. And given the machine, red cap has run very well too. It suggests that the form of last year's Reynolds stand novice chase is good. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. And yeah, I mean, this is the vital moment for, for unfolding, isn't it? Because Fergus Gill has gone, looks like he's going to say, I'm going to win it from here. You know, there's nothing behind me I'm worried about. You two, I'm having you, and down he comes. A real shame. He is full of horse as well. Uh, what a moment! This, uh, this threatened to be for Fergus Gillard, and oh, oh they just dear. didn't see eye to eye no, there. No, they didn't. And I mean, given, given that he probably would have wanted softer ground, uh, it's a shame. It's a huge run from him. And, it was. And let's hope he, he can he can deliver what he's promised today on a on another big stage. Uh, cloth caps run his heart out really until until it all became yeah. a bit too much for him. Brahma Bullet is that's run on for third with on the ropes four. Yeah, but I mean they they, they did nothing else counted, did it? I mean there's a lot of money for Fiddler on the roof and it's nearly been rewarded, but I mean Charlie Joyce didn't really have to ask the winner until coming down to the last. And there was always a chance he was going to keep finding. And if you have back Cloudy Glen, take a bow. Yeah. What were you putting your hopes on? You were putting your hopes he on the fact well that fresh. he goes well fresh. He's had a wind He's a strong stayer, and he's had a wind up. But and the trainer's a genius. And the trainer <laughs> is a genius. And perhaps that that last point is the most salient one because about halfway we turned to each other and said, "Hello, it's a Venetia special, and one that we hadn't seen coming." No. Well, you you never do. And just in her own quiet, undemonstrative way, Venetia Williams has never wavered in her support of, of Charlie Deutsch, has she? And, and he's ridden any number of good winners for her in the last couple of years. Yep. I mean, I mean you see, it's like, it's like the return from the uh, charge at Balaclava, isn't it? The light brigade. I mean, not many finished. Relentless gallop, and they're strung out all over the place. Yeah, one is Cloudy Glen, two Fiddler on the roof, three Brahma Bull running on yeah. from an absolute mile back. Unsighted through the race, then on the ropes, then the machine, and relatively few other finishes. Yeah. Well, well, well. Well, 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 indeed. <laughs> 23 years since Teton Mill, Jonathan. Yeah, he won, he won the King George he after did. that. I don't think this horse will be winning the King George. Neither do I. <laughs> Not even Venetia can pull that one off. It's just brilliant. Um, he travelled through the race so well, I was actually thinking we're doing too much now. And we turned in... I gave him a slight squeeze, but I thought well, it was a long way up the straight. And then, uh, and then, um, yeah, he, he was jumping brilliantly. He made one mistake. Yes, um, and I was. I mean, he came back on it really, really quickly. Straight away, he's so tough. He's got the mental attitude for it. He's not an easy ride, and um, he's, he, you know, he's tricky at home as well. And a lot of people have done a lot of good work with him. Um, you know, Hugh used to ride him when he's a young horse, and um, you know, he used to sh shoot off and all sorts. And um, yeah, but he's got the mental attitude. He just keep going and. Um, and you know he's never stopping. He, he jumped the, all the fences up straight. He winged them, and it's just so special um, for Mr. Hemmings. You know, I, I, I've ridden a few winners for him, but to ride a big winner for you know for them and the family, and it's just it's just wonderful. Um, his his fourth individual winner in his in his colours. It's such a tribute to everything he's put into the sport. It's amazing, isn't it? And, and um, yeah, that's what the sport's about, isn't it? It's just so. You know, um, he lets us. He, you know, he let, the horses always had a lot of time, and you know, he looked after them, and and they always paid him back, and it's just great. So. And how about for you? How significant is this moment for you? Oh, it's the best. Yeah, the best I've ever. You know, I've, I've never come close to doing this, so I, I, I will 
very much appreciate it and uh, I'm just thankful to anyone that's ever you know given us a leg up or helped us so it's just wonderful yeah well, well done Charlie thank you very well executed as they turn for home his colours um, upside in front turning for home in this race um, which is one to commemorate him I mean I kind of felt at that point my job was done <laughs> <laughs> little did I realise it was just going to get better and better um, but I am so thrilled that the ho um, Trevor bred the horse um, by his beloved cloudings and uh, he's been a really quirky horse um, you wouldn't know um, the horse certainly never knew whether it was Christmas or Easter um, he's just as likely down at the start to bombed off in the wrong direction um, I slightly feel that um, at, at the, the age he is now he was sort of slightly maturing um, but uh, yeah he, he, he was always capable of, of pulling something out of the bag, but you wouldn't know whether it, he'd do it here or at football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, you could see him just travelling so well, even after that uh, one error that he made, he was immediately back on it. You got him here so well. Well, that's right. Um, and I have, to, I have to give a lot of um, credit to Charlie. I thought he gave him an outstanding ride. Um, you know, he asked him up when he needed to, um, and he accommodated him, you know, when it was required as well. Um, but uh, it's just, I just can't believe it. And, and I'm so thrilled for Catherine and for all his family. You know, there's, there's quite a contingent here today. Um, uh, yeah, it, the power from above um, made it happen today. And, and, you know, it couldn't have been better.